Hi, I'm Jake Shaw with Kern Laser Systems. Keeping the laser system's chilling unit properly maintained plays a major factor in the longevity of the laser. In today's video, we'll go over the maintenance procedures required on your SNA 6300 chilling unit. The laser system's chilling unit will need, at minimum, a monthly maintenance check. If the environment the chiller is located is dirty, the maintenance must be performed more frequently. Before performing any maintenance, put on your certified laser safety glasses. Power down the laser system, place the power switch of the chiller in the off position, and unplug the chiller's power cord. To keep the chilling unit operating at optimum performance, the air vents, reusable air filters, and condenser should be kept free of dust and dirt. Remove both the left and right side panels from the chiller by pressing the two plastic tabs near the top of the panels. Next, remove the air filters from the panels. Thoroughly rinse the air filters with water. Use compressed air to both dry and remove any remaining dust or dirt. Also, use compressed air to remove dust and dirt from the side panels and any internal parts of the chiller. Once the air filters are dry, Mount the filters onto the side panels and reinstall the panels onto the chiller. The fluid level gauge found at the rear of the unit should be checked weekly to determine the fluid level. If the fluid level is low, add distilled water until full. The water filter assembly should be checked monthly. The assembly is located at the back of the laser system. Visually inspect the cartridge filter and canister for debris and particles. If debris and particles are noticed, remove the canister from the water filter assembly. Once removed, lift the filter out and drain the remaining fluid from the canister into a container or bucket. Rinse debris and particles from the canister and filter with water. If the filter is built up with debris and particles that can't be removed, the filter will need replacing. Replacement filters are available for purchase on Kern's laserlocker.com website. Insert the filter into the canister and reinstall into the water filter assembly. Every six months, drain the reservoir tank and refill with new distilled water and additive. This will prevent sediment and particles from building up in the reservoir and getting into the water lines. Some items needed to drain and refill the reservoir is a crescent wrench, 12 gallons of distilled water, one gallon and one quart of OptiShield Plus, a measuring cup, and a container or bucket to catch the drain chiller fluid. To drain the chiller, locate the drain plug on the back of the unit and place the container below the drain hole. Use a crescent wrench to remove the drain plug. It may be necessary to elevate the front of the chiller to allow all of the fluid to drain. Once the reservoir tank is empty, reinstall the drain plug. Check with local authorities on the disposal requirements of the drained chiller fluid. To fill the chiller's reservoir, remove the reservoir cap. 
found at the back of the unit. Use a mixture of distilled water and OptiShield Plus to fill the reservoir. For KT 250 watt lasers, use a mix ratio of 90 to 10 distilled water to OptiShield Plus. The chiller reservoir holds approximately 12 gallons. With a ratio of 90 to 10, this amounts to about 154 ounces, or 1 gallon and 26 ounces, of the OptiShield Plus. Pour the 1 gallon of OptiShield Plus into the reservoir. Use a measuring cup to measure out the remaining 26 ounces and pour into the chiller reservoir. Top off the reservoir with distilled water. Once the reservoir is full, reinstall the reservoir cap. Plug in the chiller's power cord and turn the power switch to the on position. Check for any leaks. Recheck the reservoir after the chiller has been running. If the fluid level dropped, add distilled water until full. If you have any questions on the maintenance of your SNA 6300 chiller, please contact your Kern sales representative or Kern's technical support.